Praise the Lord. Wonderful times to learn. Now, today on this devotion, I will dwell on the themes of forgiveness in manifestation, the goals of your life. We set goal. We want to achieve goal. But this element of unforgiveness will hinder, will destroy all our, you know, the uh, whatever goals we may have set. Let us dwell on this. The power of forgiveness in desire manifestation. Now, we, we desire things from God. We ask things from God. So in the market uh, language, is goal setting. We ask, ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find. Knock the door shall be opened unto you, right? Asking is goal setting and also manifest the goal. Now, all right, let us see what we can learn. Now, we can learn a lesson on goal setting and goal achieving from Jesus cursing the fig tree. Remember the story of uh, the fig tree where Jesus, after he went uh, into the temple, cleansed the temple, of course, he find himself hungry, go a nearby fig tree, he find no fruit there, and Jesus said, no man shall ever eat fruit from you again. Now, you look, it's a curse to the tree, right? No man shall ever eat fruit from you again. But in that context, because uh, it referred to the, the, the Jews, they God expect them to, to produce uh, fruits, uh, to mission, to bring the Gentiles into the kingdom of God, but they failed to do so. Huh? So even the stifle, the people, you know, the, in a sense, they're very hard to draw near to God, you know, all these uh, uh, hindrances. Uh, so God used the, I mean, the cursing this tree, uh, the fig tree, to see that God can cut, you know, the people off if they do not bear fruit for him. The, the, so, all right. Now, see that from this, uh, uh, this fig tree, what can we learn? Now, of course, when Jesus, after he said that no one should ever eat fruit from you again, then they went to stay in Bethany. The next day, they come to the temple again. So then Peter saw, he said, but, uh, Rabbi, look, the tree you curse, it dry off from the root. And then Jesus says something marvelous. And the truth that Jesus say, you know, it is reverent for us to, uh, to, uh, to set goal and achieve it you know, for our life, for our ministry, to make disciples of all nations, to fulfilling the great commission that entrusted by our Lord Jesus Christ on this goal setting. Now, what Jesus say? Jesus say the amazing truth on goal achieving. He said that, have faith in God. Uh, Jesus answer, truly, I tell you, if anyone say to this mountain, go through yourself into the sea and does not doubt in their heart, but believe that, what they say will happen, it will be done for them. And therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, a goal setting, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. It's a powerful, you know, principles of setting goal and achieving goal. Believe you receive it already and you shall have it. But here, the Jesus wants us to have faith in God or have faith of God in our goal setting, and set uh, you know, our desire, our asking desire from the Lord. But there is the hindrance. If we are not careful, we will fail in our achieving of it. The reason why people are not achieving what they desire from God. And Jesus said in verse 25 uh, or in 26, uh, some text written 26, he said, and when you stand praying, if you hold anything against anyone, forgive them so that your Father in heaven may forgive your sins. That unforgiveness, it's a hindrance to manifesting your desire and your goal in life. So the unforgiveness is like the blood cloth that blocked the flow of you know, the, you know, the blood in the heart and experience heart attack. So the unforgiveness, Jesus said, forgive that the Father may forgive you. Even though, yes, we are biblical uh, believing, uh, Bible believing Christian, but if there's any unforgiveness, it will hinder us from achieving goal in our life. So Jesus said, release it, forgive, that the Father blessing will flow into your life, not that you are not safe in your spirit, but your soul is hindered 
no, by unforgiveness. So that's the reason why people are not achieving what they desire from God. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their pres- uh, trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Remember that. Forgive. No? Forgive that God may forgive you. That's the reason why people stumble and can't achieve. Because unforgiveness is a stumbling block on your way to, to destiny, to fulfill God's destiny in your life, making disciples of all nations. So remember, and the, you see that it's a poison. Unforgiveness is a poison. It will, you know, the common denominators of this sickness, high blood pressure, anxiety, heart attack, back pain, headache, cancer, depression, is related to unforgiveness. So you see that that's why Jesus in the Lord's Prayer, the only sins that we need God us you know, to forgive is what? Forgive us our sin as we forgive those who sin against us. There is a conditional promise. You must act. I must, uh, in a sense, forgive. Then only we, you know, God forgive us in a sense of blessing, right? We justify by faith, but we need blessing, you need to forgive, then God will forgive and release all the blessing into your life. That's goal setting and goal achieving. So, I, you know, all right. Reason why, you know, they're not achieving. Now, forgiveness is not easy. It's hard. It take, you experience the forgiveness of God, then only you can give, you can forgive other people. You can't give, you know, what you don't have. Now, forgiveness is hard, but unforgiveness is harder and spiritually Deadly. Unforgiveness is choosing to stay trapped in a jail cell of bitterness, serving time for someone else's crime. is suffer. So to forgive is to set a prisoner free and discover that the prisoner was yourself. So forgive that you may be forgiven. Now in scientific true proof, medically proof forgiveness, huh? Uh, also have to deal with this uh, called PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, people find that they un- harbor a lot of uh, you know, ill uh, you know, feelings, negative thinking. You know, it will cause a lot of uh, you know, sickness and problems. A lot of free radicals will damage the cell and develop cancer. 25% uh, cancer have related to unforgiveness. Of course, the anxiety cannot sleep, you know, so a weakened the immune system. So all this will lead to all kinds of havoc in know in a physical body, not only soul. It affects our spirit as well. But those who forgive, you know, somehow there are benefits, uh, you know, physiologically, you know, psychologically and physically. Increased level of forgiveness uh, decrease the PTSD symptom like depression, anxiety, anger, rumination, and social functioning. So forgive is the key to open heaven's gate, right? Open the gates. The ability to forgive is one, is a man's greatest achievement. Forgive that you may manifest your desire from God. Forgive those who hurt you. Forgive those who don't deserve it. And this is the cross that Jesus asked us to carry every single day. Right, so Jesus, we need to be like Jesus. That's our major goal. Jesus said, "Be like Jesus and make disciples of all nations." And Jesus on the cross is a Father. Forgive them, for they know not what they do. So follow the the step of Jesus. Forgive that the blessing of God may come to you. Have faith in God. What things soever you desire when you pray, believe you receive it, and you shall have it. Right. So may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Forgive that all the blessing will flow into your life. You live a life abundantly in glorifying God, in making disciples of all nations. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. God bless you.